Nice jumping, buddy. That's fun. Right, now I just need to find a sea lion covered in flies, and I should get to see how they deal with them. Um, I can't see any flies around here, and I don't want to scare all these pups, so to the size of a sea lion pup. Great! Oh, I think I'll come back for that later. <laughs> One. Any flies on you? Uh, nope. Hmm, let me see. Uh, uh, uh. Uh -huh. I spy flies. This is more like it. It's a female, and she's covered in flies. Hopefully, she can give me the answer I'm looking for. Shaking her head doesn't seem to work. As soon as she shakes them off, they just fly back again. Oh, hello. I've not seen one of these guys before. It's a lizard of some kind. It says here it's a lava lizard. Great name. Oh, it seems to be coming closer. Uh, can we help you? Uh, now, I don't think that's very kind, crawling all over my friend here while she's trying to sleep. And you. Although, she doesn't seem to mind. Oh, I see. The lava lizards are catching the flies that land on the sea lion. They get a tasty meal, and the sea lions get rid of those <laughs> annoying flies. Great teamwork. Oh, good catch. Hey, it found one. Oh, uh, bad luck, fishy. It's tricky to dig when you have flippers instead of hands. Dolphins are doing a great job with their snouts. They're certainly stirring up the sand, but not enough to make the circles we saw on the drone. There must be something else here causing them. I don't think I'm ever going to solve the mystery at this rate. I wonder where they're off to. They'll lead me to whatever it is making the mysterious circles. Wait for me. Well, I followed the dolphins to the surface, but I wonder why they've led me here. Oh, what was that? Ow! Ah, stop it! What's going on? This is the strangest thing I've ever seen! Ow. Well, the fish seem to be jumping out of the water straight into the dolphin's mouth. Why would they do that? No, I really have seen it all. Hey, it's Jen. Hi, Andy. Hi, Jen. Ah, oh. oh, was that a fish slapping you in the face? Uh, yes. Strangest thing. I'm floating in the middle of a pod of dolphins, and fish are jumping out of the water straight into their mouths. That's fascinating. But are you any closer to finding the cause of those mysterious circles? No, Jen. Sorry. I got a bit distracted following the dolphins. According to my scans, you're right beneath the camera drone that spotted them. 
Oh, yes. There it is. If you look on the camera, you should be able to see me, Jen. Hi, Jen. Joey. Hi, Andy. Anyway, like I said, there's no sign of the mysterious circles anywhere. Yes, there is, Andy. You're right in the middle of them. What? Really? All I can see are dolphins and flying fish. Woohoo! Good catch. Andy, it's the dolphins. The dolphins are creating the mysterious circles. I couldn't see them on camera earlier, as they must have gone underwater. But it's really obvious now. Really? Oh. It's a green sea turtle. A young female. Now, I know what you're thinking. It doesn't look very green. Well, that's because they get their name because of a layer of green fat just under their shell. Amazing! Come on! They're one of the largest species of turtle and can swim at speeds of up to 35 kilometers per hour. That's as fast as I can run. I'll never keep up with her. Time to catch a ride. Mind if I join you? to tour the reef. Turtles are air-breathing reptiles. They can hold their breath underwater sometimes even for several hours. But sooner or later, they need to come up for... Yeah! Ha-ha! <laughs> Down we go again! I recognise that rock. She's brought me back to where I started. Looks like we're coming into land. Oh, I can't head back yet, though. I still don't know which fish cleans this beautiful shell. Hmm. I wonder what she's waiting for. Oh, hello. It's a little Blenny. And look. It's eating bits off the turtle's shell. And this black surgeon fish is doing the same. They're cleaning it. These must be the fish we need back at Safari World. This isn't just a big rock. It's a turtle cleaning station too. fish get a tasty meal, and the turtles get nice and clean. Everyone's happy. Oh, you missed a bit. Ooh, check this out. It's another turtle. And another. In fact, there are lots of them. Huh? Oh, they must all be queuing up for a clean. And the blennies are getting ready. Looks like they're going to be busy. This is incredible. I never thought I'd get to see this. Right. I need to tell Jen the good news. Jen, I've got the answer. We need to put blennies and black surgeon fish in the green sea turtle exhibit. They're the best cleaners on the reef. OK, Andy, I'll do it straight away. But you need to hurry back. The turtle expert is just about to arrive at the park. Oh, all right, Jen. I'm on my way. See you later, green sea turtles. Sea turtle. Yes! Looks like this is my stop. Thanks for the ride. Whoa! Aren't sea dragons magical? Oh, look! There's another one. Let's take a look. Ah, it says here they're dancing. The way they're mirroring each other, that's part of a ritual weedy sea dragons do when choosing a mate. They look so graceful. Hmm, maybe I can dance like a sea dragon. Sea dragon? 
Hmm. I guess they didn't like my moves. Where are they off to? I'll follow them. Hopefully they'll lead me to some babies that are just about to hatch. Wait for me! Weedy sea dragons are brilliant at camouflage. Maybe a little too good. They have these little frilly appendages that help them blend in with the plants around them. Like seaweed. That's probably why they call Weedy Sea Dragon. Oh, that's Jen. Andy, good news. I fixed the safari sub. Nice one. How's it going? Have you got your photo yet? No luck so far, Jen. I found some sea dragons, but no babies. Well, I can't detect any babies in your area, but my scans are showing a male sea dragon approaching and it's carrying eggs. Did you see a male sea dragon? Yes, Andy. According to the database, the females produce the eggs, but it's the males that carry them. Apparently, they can carry hundreds of tiny little eggs under their tails. That's amazing. I can see it now, Jen. If I stay close to him, then I'll be in the perfect place to take my photo once they start to hatch. I'll call you back. Oh, look. One's hatching. Yes. Oh, well done, Dad. Look at that one go. Can you see that little red blob on the sea dragon's belly? That's its yolk sac. That will make sure they have enough to eat until they're old enough to start feeding themselves. Oh, quick, I better take that photo. Perfect, a photo of a newly hatched weedy sea dragon and just in time. Jen, I've got the photo. I'm uploading it to you now. Got it. Oh, it looks great, Andy, but you need to hurry back. I'm sending the safari sub to your location now. Thanks, Jen. See you later, Weedy Sea Dragons. Have a good life, little ones. Ah! Oh, stop! Put me down! Put me down! Oh, please put me down! That was a very nice. I'm no threat. I'm Andy. Oh! Oh, my bottom! What was that? Oh! Oh, it's a sea urchin. I can see why Mr. Hammond wasn't able to dance for a week. Those spines are really sharp. And look, they're eating that young kelp, just like the big ones back at Safari World. Oh, it's you again. Now, look, you dropped me right onto one of these spiky urchins. If anything, they're the problem around here, not me. Whoa, look at that. The Garibaldi just picked up the urchin by those sharp spines and dragged it away. another incredible it must be doing a spot of housekeeping he just removes everything from his territory including me here we go again oh <laughs> tickles no oh, oh you know what if the gary body is so good at removing sea urchins then maybe that's what we need back at Safari World. Um, thanks for the lift, but would you mind putting me down now, please? Oh, thank you. Well, that hardly ever works. Right, I need to tell Jen the good news. Oh, no. The urchins are just crawling back to where they came from. Oh, there must be another answer. Something else must be driving the urchins away. But all I can see here are fish and sea otters. Hmm, what's that one up to? Oh, he's definitely got something. Ah, and it looks like he's taking it back to the surface. Oh, yes, it's an urchin. The otter's eating it. Of course. That's what's missing from the Aquaforest Dome back at Safari World. Otters! I'll call Jen to let her know. Oh, Andy, thank goodness. Have you found out how to stop the urchins from eating all the kelp? They're getting really out of control here. 
and I don't think I can put off Mr. Hammond from his dive for much longer. It's all right, Jen. I've got the answer. Sea otters, they love eating urchins. It must be one of their favorite foods. Really? Wow, that's great news. We just need to introduce some sea otters into the aquaforest dome and they should clear up the problem. We've already got plenty of sea otters at Safari World. I'll move them into the aquaforest dome straight away. I hope this works. To the size of... To the size of a flamingo. Ah, that's better. Time to get wet. Oh. Ah, oh, there's plenty of flamingos here. And it's not too deep either, which makes it the perfect place for me to do my painting. Easel. Canvas. Paintbrush and palette. And paint. Pink. So that's where it got to. Ready. Oh, um, excuse me. Would you mind standing still for a second? They're performing a courtship dance. This is how flamingos find their perfect partner. Dances like these can go on all day long, so I'm just going to have to try and paint them as they pass. Finished. Hopefully Mr. Hammond won't notice the difference. Right, I'll let this lot finish their dance while I pack this away. OK, now I need to get back to Safari World. Jen. Hi, Andy. Have you finished the painting? Yep, all done. Great. I'll send the Safari Mobile to pick you up. Thanks, Jen. And I need to get back to normal size. Uh, uh, hurry up! Woo! That was close. See you later, Flamingo! Time to head back! I've made it to the lake. I can't see any eggshells, though. But I can see a caiman. In fact, there are lots of them. Surely they can't all belong to her. Ah, oh, I see. A mother caiman runs a kind of nursery where she looks after all the other mother's babies whilst they go off to feed. How clever. It looks like she's got her work cut out. Right, I need to find an eggshell. All I can see is that hungry egret, though. An egret? Egrets eat baby caiman. Oh, no. Oh, and there are still some there on the bank. Quick, get into the water. Little ones. Yes, they'll be okay in there with their babysitter. Even so, with this many egrets and predators around, it's not a safe place to be. Oh, wait a minute. It looks like she's on the move. And the babies are going with her. She must be leading them to a safer lake. 
And maybe there'll be a caiman nest there. I know, I'll follow them. But I better shrink down first. I don't want to scare them. To the size of a baby caiman. Perfect. It's not easy walking through all this grass when you're this small. Slow down a bit. We're struggling to keep up. I'd better do something to stop her before we lose sight of her altogether. Um, my backpack. It's always full of useful things. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Time to go on an aquatic adventure. Waistcoat, hat, backpack, gizmo, check. Coordinates set. Switching to flight mode. Boosters ready. Whoa! Next stop, Japan! Oh, oh, yes! I made it! According to my readout, you're flying along the coast of southern Japan. Great! Now I just need to find the mud skippers and borrow some of their mud. My scanners say there's a huge mud bank just below you. If you're going to find any mud skippers, it'll be down there, Andy. In which case, I'm going in for a closer look. Oh, it really is muddy around here. Hmm. Not the sort of place I'd like to live, but perfect for mud skippers. Now, there's got to be one around here somewhere. Oh, oh, it's a fiddler crab. Hang on a minute. Oh, yes, a mud skipper. At least I know I'm in the right place. Hmm. The only thing is, how do I know that this is the type of mud that mud skippers like to build their egg chambers in? There's only one way to know for certain, and that's to find an egg chamber. But I don't really want to be clomping around in these big boots. I might tread on someone. So, to the size of a mud skipper. That's better. Oh, hello. Oh, look at this lot. Unlike most fish, mud skippers can survive out of the water for up to two days. They're all out searching for food. And these muddy banks are filled with tiny plants and animals that they love to eat. Hello. Ooh. Excuse you. Their eyes are on top of their heads, so they can easily see in front or behind them. Very handy when looking out for predators. But I'm supposed to be looking out for an egg chamber. I found a damselfly. Now I just need to find out where they lay their eggs. Oh, but this guy can't help me. He's male. Whoa. Where's he off to? Another male has come into his territory. Oh, male damselflies don't get on. Calm down, you two. Come on, play nicely. They fight like this to get the attention of a female damselfly. Like her. Hmm. Maybe she can help me. Aha! Uh -huh. Says 
says here on my gizmo that this damselfly is pregnant. So if I stay with her, I'll be able to find out where she lays her eggs. Do you mind if I tag along? This is amazing! Uh-oh! Frogs! We wouldn't want to get too close to those. They love to eat damselflies. Well, uh, no, 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 wait. But I don't fancy doing that again anytime soon. <laughs> What on earth is she doing now? It looks like she's about to head underwater. Well, that's strange. Oh, well, there's only one thing for it. Upload sub-aqua gear. Great, let's go. I've got a mask and an aqua pack to help me. Hmm, let's see. It says here that her wings trap a layer of air, and that's what helps her breathe. Ingenious! Huh? Now what's she doing? This is one of the strangest adventures I've ever had. Oh, I see. She's cut a hole in that stem and laid her eggs. They'll be nice and safe in there until they hatch. Amazing! Wait a minute. Something's pushing me up from below. What's going on? I'm on a sort of massive moving island. Whoa. It's not an island, but it is massive. It's a blue whale! Woohoo! Blue whales don't have to worry about predators. They can weigh well over a hundred tons, as much as 30 African elephants. Whoa, it's another one. It's just come up to the surface for air. Whales breathe through holes on the top of their heads, and that's why they're called blowholes. Whoa. So I better hurry up and get that photo I need. That's no good, I'm too close. No wonder Mr. Hammond had problems taking his photo. Blue whales are so big, you need to be a long way away to fit them all in. Hang on a minute. Aha! Selfie stick. Perfect. Right, let's try again, shall we? Oh. This is still not working. I need to be way, way up there to get a decent photo. If only I had a jet pack as well as an aqua pack. Aha! One more big breath out, please. Managed to get a great photo of a blue whale. I'm sending it to you now. Well done. I'm sending the safari sub to you. I managed to get it working again. Fantastic. Thanks, Jen. Thanks for the lift, blue whale. Opening dive chamber. Mask check. Prepare for launch. Inject. Ooh. 
Ooh. Wait a minute. It looks like there's something swimming around up on the surface. Could it be a chin strap penguin? Only one way to find out. It is! Yes! <laughs> and you can see why it's called a chin strap. Look at that black line under its chin. Maybe he can lead me to a penguin nesting ground. Oh no. It looks like the poor thing is struggling in the broken ice. He needs to get out into the open water where he can swim properly. Wait a second. Is that... <gasps> it's a leopard seal! And they eat penguins! Quick little buddy! We've got to get out of here! <sighs> Almost there! Look! Come on! We'll be safe with the rest of the penguins. Dive down under the ice! You'll be quicker! That's it! He's found his friends. So long, Leopard Seal. Phew, I made it. Hmm. Can't see any chicks around here, though. Ah, it says here they nest at the top of the cliff, safe from the rough seas and those pesky Leopard Seals. Oh, well. I've got a bit of a climb ahead of me. Uploading adventure gear. <gasps> Great! Let's go. These penguins are incredible. They're using their wings, claws, and even beaks to get to the top and back to feed their chicks. <sighs> Not so easy for me, though. All this mud is making it very... Whoa. Whoa. Slippery! Oh. If at first you don't succeed, try! Try! Whoa. Again! Oh. At last! Excellent. Mr. Hammond won't be able to see me now, so I don't need to be small anymore. Back to normal size. Great. That's better. Right. Look. It's the first seal pup. Just like Mr. Hammond said. How strange for it to be this far away from the sea. Right. I better catch up with it and figure out what's going on. with seal pups. Oh, this is like the best water park in the world. No wonder you were so keen to get up here. Thanks a lot, Cheeky. Oh, well, now I'm wet, I might as well join in. Oh, Jen's calling. Hi, Andy. Have you had any luck finding the first seal pup? Yes, I have. But not just one pup. Look. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Andy. That's incredible. <laughs> they look like they're having so much fun. More fun than swimming with those killer whales I saw earlier. Just a second. That's it. They must come up here because it's a safe place to learn how to swim, away from any hungry predators. Amazing, Andy. You should hurry back, though. We need to give Mr. Hammond an update as soon as possible. I'm sending the safari mobile to your current location. 
Okay, Jen. Another polar bear, and this one looks hungry. Oh, the walruses don't seem too happy either. They're starting to stampede. Watch out, guys! Don't squash the little ones. They're heading into the water. Coming through. Oh, oh, now what? They can't stay in the water all day, and they can't go back on land with that polar bear still hanging around. What are they going to do? Wait a second. Icebergs! That's it! They're all climbing onto little icebergs. They must feel much safer from the polar bears on there. And they won't get squashed by all the other walruses. So that's what we need back at Safari World. More icebergs. Oh, hang on. It looks like they don't want to share. Oh, it's Jen. Hi, Jen. Andy, have you found out where the walrus mothers raise their pups? It's getting really out of control here. Well, I think I might have the answer, Jen. We need more icebergs. Icebergs? I've got an idea. I can adjust the temperature here in the Arctic Dome, which will create icebergs. Great. Sounds like a plan. It doesn't help me here, though. That mum and her pup have nowhere to go. Andy, my scans indicate there's an iceberg not being used just over to your right. <gasps> I see it. Thanks, Jen. Over here, you two. There's a nice little iceberg for you both. Come on. Yes, this will be perfect. Come on, you two. That's it. Over here. Oh, oh look. Mum's using her tusks to pull herself up. Oh, how clever is that? Come on, little one. You can do it. Yes, made it! They'll be nice and safe up here. Great! I think I'll dry off first and then head back to Safari World. See you later, walruses. Hey, it found one. Oh, uh, bad luck, fishy. It's tricky to dig when you have flippers instead of hands. The dolphins are doing a great job with their snouts. They're certainly stirring up the sand, but not enough to make the circles we saw on the drone. There must be something else here causing them. I don't think I'm ever going to solve the mystery at this rate. I wonder where they're off to. Perhaps they'll lead me to whatever it is making the mysterious circles. Wait for me. Well, I've followed the dolphins to the surface, but I wonder why they've led me here. Oh, what was that? Ow! Ah, it's 
Stop it! What's going on? Oh, this is the strangest thing I've ever seen! Oh. Oh, the fish seem to be jumping out of the water straight into the dolphin's mouth! Why would they do that? No, I really have seen it all. Hey, it's Jen. Hi, Andy. Hi, Jen. Ooh. Oh, was that a fish slapping you in the face? Uh, yes. Strangest thing. I'm floating in the middle of a pod of dolphins and fish are jumping out of the water straight into their mouths. No, Jen, sorry. I got a bit distracted following the dolphins. According to my scans, you're right beneath the camera drone that spotted them. Oh, yes. There it is. If you look on the camera, you should be able to see me, Jen. Hi, Jen! Joey! Hi, Andy! Anyway, like I said, there's no sign of the mysterious circles anywhere. Yes, there is, Andy. You're right in the middle of them. What? Really? All I can see are dolphins and flying fish. Woohoo! Good catch. Andy, it's the dolphins. The dolphins are creating the mysterious circles. I couldn't see them on camera earlier, as they must have gone underwater. But it's really obvious now. Really? Oh, brilliant. Andy? <sighs> Andy? Are you okay? I lost contact. I'm okay, thanks, Jen. There was a big storm, but it seems to be over now. Huh? Where have the seals gone? They're over by the ice hole. I can see them on the webcam. Oh, yes, there's Mum. It looks like she's giving her pup his first ever swimming lesson. Oh. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't seem too sure about it. Maybe I can help. Over here, buddy. It's time to go swimming. Follow me. In you come. The water's lovely. No time to look cute. You need to get wet. Your mum's waiting. Come on. Yes, you did it! It'll take him several weeks to learn how to swim and catch fish. But Mum will stay with him every step of the way until he's ready to look after himself. See you later, Weddle Seals. Happy fishing! Right, time to get me back to normal size. Open subhatch. Engage boosters. Time to head back. Upload Safari World uniform. Great! Hello, Mr. Hammond. Oh, Andy, there you are. I've got some wonderful news. My Weddell Seal webcam's working again. And look, Jen's playing back the footage of the little pup learning to swim for the first time. Oh, um, Mr. Hammond, have I ever shown you my impression of a Weddell Seal pup before? No, I, I don't believe you have. Oh, 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 Stay. Ah! Ah, stop! Put me down! Put me down! Oh, please put me down! That was a very...
very nice. I'm no threat, and I'm Andy. Oh, oh, my bottom. What was that? Oh, oh, it's a sea urchin. I can see why Mr. Hammond wasn't able to dance for a week. Those spines are really sharp. And look, they're eating that young kelp, just like the big ones back at Safari World. Oh, it's you again. Now, look, you dropped me right onto one of these spiky urchins. If anything, they're the problem around here, not me. Whoa, look at that. The Garibaldi just picked up the urchin by those sharp spines and dragged it away. And another. And another. Incredible. It must be doing a spot of housekeeping. He just removes everything from his territory, including me. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, oh <laughs> tickles. No. Ah, oh. You know what? If the Gary Bordy is so good at removing sea urchins, then maybe that's what we need back at Safari World. Um, thanks for the lift, but would you mind putting me down now, please? Oh, thank you. Well, that hardly ever works. Right, I need to tell Jen the good news. Oh, no. The urchins are just crawling back to where they came from. Oh, there must be another answer. Something else must be driving the urchins away. But all I can see here are fish and sea otters. Hmm, what's that one up to? Oh, he's definitely got something. Ah, and it looks like he's taking it back to the surface. Oh, yes, it's an urchin. The otter's eating it. Of course. That's what's missing from the Aquaforest Dome back at Safari World. Otters! I'll call Jen to let her know. Oh, Andy, thank goodness. Have you found out how to stop the urchins from eating all the kelp? They're getting really out of control here. And I don't think I can put off Mr. Hammond from his dive for much longer. It's all right, Jen. I've got the answer. Sea otters, they love eating urchins. It must be one of their favorite foods. Really? Wow, that's great news. There must be a tusk fish around here somewhere. Aha! There's one! Look at those teeth! They look just like tusks, don't they? Oh, I can see where they get their name from. Now, I've heard you have a collection of broken shells. I was just wondering if you would let me have some. As long as you don't need them, that is. Oh, looks like we're off. Wait for me. Ah, this is the life. Swimming along the Great Barrier Reef with a tusk fish by my side. Hmm, where's he taking me, I wonder? Hopefully to his stash of broken shells. Hmm, that's strange. He's fanning the sand with his fin. He's definitely looking for something. Wow, he's very strong. Oh, I see. That's what he's been searching for, a clam. That's the type of shell I'm looking for. But it's the broken ones I'm after. Hmm, well, where's he taking it? Let's go and find out. What's that strange looking coral up ahead? It looks like a huge bowl. The tusk fish is heading straight for it. the clam against that bump on the coral. I think he's trying to crack open the shell. He must be hungry for what's inside. He's very determined. Look how he's using his teeth to grip onto the clam. What a clever fish! 
It's not so easy when you don't have hands. Uh, let me get that for you. Keep trying, little fish. You're doing great. Almost there. Now you can enjoy your tasty meal. <laughs> it looks like he's done this lots before. Look! Look at all these broken clamshells. These are just what I need to stop the slugs back at Safari World. <laughs> Whoa, Jem was right. There's definitely something down there. Come on, let's investigate. It's the Saddleback Clownfish I'm looking for. They get their name Saddleback because of that white stripe across their backs, which I suppose does look a bit like a saddle, doesn't it? Clownfish make their homes inside animals called anemones. This is a carpet anemone, just like the one we have back at Safari World. Can you see those tentacles? Well, the anemone uses those to catch food, but they can also give you a poisonous sting. Luckily for clownfish, they're immune to the anemone's poison. That means that they won't get stung. But I could, so I'd better keep my distance. This really is a perfect partnership. The anemone gives the clownfish not only a safe place to live, but also scraps of food to eat. In return, the clownfish gets the anemone clean and tidy. Everyone's a winner. As fascinating as this is, none of it is helping me on my mission. Everything seems pretty normal here. The clownfish don't seem to be wandering off like the ones back at Safari World. What's this anemone got that owls doesn't? Whoa, look at the size of this one. Oh, it says here that this is a female. And when they have a striking white face like this, it makes her the head of the family. Wow, she's enormous compared to some of these younger males, isn't she? Oh, wait a minute. That male is leaving the safety of the anemone. He must be on a search for something, just like the clownfish back at Safari World. Now's my chance. I need to follow him. Wait for me, little fella. He seems to be taking an interest in this old shell. I wonder why he needs a shell. That's interesting. It looks like he's trying to push it back to the anemone. Why on earth would he be doing that? Hmm. Maybe I can help. Oh, ah, it's too heavy. Oh, and the little fish has given up. I wonder what he was trying to do. Oh, at this rate, I don't think I'm ever going to solve the mystery. Whoa! Whoa, what's happening? Oh, it's not just any old shell. It's a shell with a hermit crab inside. And this one's obviously got places to go. Sorry to bother you, hermit crab. Oh, whoa, those baby fish certainly seem to be enjoying all the bubbles. I wonder if they've seen the cichlid I'm looking for. I'll go and ask. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, can I just ask you, <laughs> sorry. Uh, can I ask you a question? Whoa, this is fun. I can see why you like it. Uh, anyway, uh, like I was saying, uh, has anyone seen a cichlid around here with a big black spot on its side? <laughs> oh, wee. oh, where are you going? I didn't mean to scare you, come back. I wonder where they're going. Come on, let's follow them. From up here, they look just like ants. Oh, wait, there's something up ahead. Ah, that must be Mum and Dad. Wait a minute. Small yellow fish with a black spot on the side. It's the cichlids I'm looking for. 
Hello, you too. Most species of cichlids are excellent parents. They keep a close eye on their youngsters, or fry, as infant fish are sometimes called, until they're big enough to look after themselves. They've got quite a way to go yet, though. Right, now to get the photo I need. Uh, would you mind backing up a bit, please, so I can get you all in? Just a bit more. And can you turn to your side so I can see the spot, please? Ah, perfect. Thank you. Right. Focus. And... Huh? Was it something I said? Oh, no. It wasn't me. It was that stingray I saw earlier. Hey, wait for me! A stingray would definitely gobble up those fry. I'm glad Mum and Dad saw it coming and led their babies to safety. Wait, what's it doing? It looks like it's burying itself in the sand. Of course, that's how stingrays camouflage themselves when they want to launch a surprise attack. I need to warn the cichlids. Watch out, Mum and Dad. There's a hungry stingray hiding back there. Uh-oh, it's on the move again. And it's coming this way. Swim for it, cichlids! Swim! Oh, why aren't they swimming away? No, not that way, Dad. Whoa! He's taking on the stingray. That is one feisty little fish. He's done it! I told you cichlids were good parents. Right, at last I can get my photo. Smile! Got it! It's a green sea turtle. A young female. Now, I know what you're thinking. It doesn't look very green. Well, that's because they get their name because of a layer of green fat just under their shell. Amazing! Come on! They're one of the largest species of turtle and can swim at speeds of up to 35 kilometers per hour. That's as fast as I can run. I'll never keep up with her. Time to catch a ride. Mind if I join you? Woohoo! What a way to tour the reef! Turtles are air-breathing reptiles. They can hold their breath underwater sometimes even for several hours. But sooner or later, they need to come up for... Air! Ha-ha! Down we go again! I recognise that rock. She's brought me back to where I started. Looks like we're coming into land. Oh, I can't head back yet, though. I still don't know which fish cleans this beautiful shell. Hmm. I wonder what she's waiting for. Oh, hello. It's a little Blenny. And look, it's eating bits off the turtle's shell. And this black surgeon fish is doing the same. They're cleaning it. These must be the fish we need back at Safari World. This isn't just a big rock. It's a turtle cleaning station too. The fish get a tasty meal and the turtles get nice and clean. Everyone's happy. Oh. You missed a bit. Ooh, check this out. It's another turtle. And another. In fact, there are lots of them. Huh? Oh, they must all be queuing up for a clean. And the Blennies are getting ready. Looks like they're going to be busy. This is incredible. I never thought I'd get to see this. Right. I need to tell Jen the good news. 
Jen, I've got the answer. We need to put blennies and black surgeon fish in the green sea turtle exhibit. They're the best cleaners on the reef. Okay, Andy, I'll do it straight away, but you need to hurry back. The turtle expert is just about to arrive at the park. Oh, all right, Jen, I'm on my way. See you later, green sea turtles. I can see some lights up ahead. That must be the island. I'm going in. Good luck, Andy. Right. I need to find those baby turtles and turn them around quick. Come on. A camera. Oh, this must be one of the cameras sending a live video feed to Mr. Hammond. <laughs> Better be careful. If he sees me on his TV, I'm going to have a hard time explaining why I'm suddenly in Barbados. I know. I'll shrink down. That way I can slip past the cameras without being spotted. To the size of a baby hawksbill turtle. Perfect. Let's go. Wow. Look at this lot go. A female hawksbill turtle will lay about 140 eggs in a single clutch. And they all hatch around about the same time. Strength in numbers can help them survive. But none of them will survive if they can't make it to the sea. I need to find out why they're heading in the wrong direction. A town. And that's where they're all heading. But why would a turtle want a night out in the town? Not as if they can go shopping or have something to eat at a restaurant. For a turtle, a town is just a big bunch of bright lights. Wait a second. Bright lights, that's it. Jen, I know why the turtles are heading in the wrong direction. Well, Mr. Hammond says that baby turtles will follow the light of the moon on the water to find the sea. But here on this beach, the lights of the town are much brighter than the moon, and it's confusing the hatchlings and sending them the wrong way. Well, we can't just turn off all the lights in an entire town. That would be dangerous for the people who live there. I need some time to find an answer. OK, Jen. And whilst you're doing that, I'd better try and keep these turtles safe.